Good evening, loves. So happy Monday. The weather has been so bad here. Oh, oh. Anyways, so tonight's topic is isolation and the difference between unhealthy isolation and alone time. So I wanted to talk about this is a very great topic, by the way. I love the, the topic requests that came through when I put out that I was doing this Facebook Live. By the way, if you're watching this and you have a particular topic that you would like me to do some coaching on, please send me a message because I'm very open to the feedback. Anyway, so there is a difference between isolating and taking some alone time. If you just sit in stillness for a little bit and even think about, I'm, I like to talk to people about intention, especially when things get a little bit muddy. If you even stop and think about the feelings behind the two, isolation is very cold. It's very disconnected. It's very lethargic. Um, it's very sloth-like sometimes. When we isolate, it's because if it's an unhealthy isolation where we've cut people off, we've intentionally cut ourselves off from other people, that is an unhealthy isolation. If you even think about, um, oh, by the way, I see some people coming in. As you come in, I can't see who it is, but I know that people are coming in and out. As you come in, make sure to type in the comments. Just say hello and let me know that you're here. I would greatly appreciate to see who's watching. Um, so anyways, if you think about jail, for example, the, the system of punishment. It's usually people are cut off or isolated from society. Now, when it comes to alone time, alone time is, hi, Sarah. Awesome. Thanks for joining. Um, if you think about alone time, hi, Les. Francine, hi there. You guys type in um, a hello as you as you join, as you pop in. I would love to get some interaction going on on this topic of isolation versus healthy alone time. So alone time could be used to recharge you. Alone time could be used to pray if you pray or meditate if you meditate, journaling, it's used for a time period. That time period is used to really refill your cup. So I wrote some notes down because I want to make sure that I, I, I hit all the points. So if you think about um, alone time and how it is more of an empowering feeling. Hi, Mindy. Thanks for joining. As you guys come in, if you can type in the comments there um, some of your thoughts on the difference between unhealthy isolation and alone time. Have you ever um, found yourself um, engaging more in isolation or in alone time? And I do like that we're discussing this because there is a difference there. Independence is great, or interdependence is even better. And the idea of interdependence is that you're not codependent on anyone. You're not. You're also not just. Oh, I'm so independent. I don't need anybody. Interdependence is yes, I'm independent, but I know that it is healthy to connect and engage with society and with other people. So. Unhealthy isolation and alone time. The next time that it's a little bit confusing, stop, sit in, sit in stillness, and ask yourself what feelings come up when you think about isolating. If you're isolating, um, are you intentionally cutting yourself off from your friends? Are you intentionally saying, no, you don't want to go out? And when you say that you don't want to go out, what is your reason for it? Because it is healthy to say no when we mean no and when we don't want to go out because maybe we want to self-preserve. However, if it's more of we want to in, we want to avoid people, that becomes an isolation. Of um, also too, when you think about alone time, alone time is is a time for yourself when you're improving your relationship. So I want you all to see the difference, the feelings behind it, the the intentions behind it, the goals behind each one. 
the alone time is very fulfilling, empowering. It's time where you're, you're being intentional. You're taking this time because you want it for yourself and you want time for yourself. Unhealthy isolation is more of, I want to cut other people off. I don't really engage with others. I want to just be by myself, um, but more in a way of sort of separating yourself from society as opposed to, I'm just going to take some alone time for myself. So I hope that this makes sense. If you all got, um, got something from this, please type it in the comments, whether you're live, you're watching the replay, and I would love to get your feedback. So this tonight was a quick one. Um, it's very simple between the two, I think. And I hope you guys enjoy the training, and I will see you guys tomorrow for tomorrow night's Facebook Live. Bye! Ha, ha, ha.